Um, so this morning, I thought we were going to focus on one of the things that we've got going into the studio this into the sewing studio this week, which is pajamas. Obviously, it's that time of year. Everybody has to have Christmas pajamas. So we've done a little um, tutorial for you. Uh, oh, we've got lots of people, more people joining us this morning. Morning, Linda. Morning, Rachel. Um, morning. Oh, <laughs> Rachel. I was going to say, oh, morning, morning, Rachel. So Rachel upstairs saying thanks for the chocolate, Amy. Um, my new favourite website for sending chocolate love. Oh, I think that's what a brilliant idea. Morning, Linda. Morning, Bernadette. Um, so pajamas, exactly. So these are the ones. I'm going to move this fabric out of the way for a minute so that I can push that over there, so I can actually get past and show you. So these are the projects that we've got going into the sewing studio this week. Now, a lovely tutorial on making a pair of pajamas. They're really quick and easy to do. If you're in the sewing studio, you'll have access to the pajama pattern on its own. And we've also done a new little tutorial on how to sew a pocket onto a jersey garment. So we've used Peas Blossom here, which is a brilliant one to use. So those together as a set of PJs, I think are gonna be really lovely actually. Now don't forget our PJ pattern is unisex. So you could make it for the men in your life as well, which is really cool. I've used this pattern to make Charlie and Seamus pajamas before. And he's got his headphones on at the moment, so he won't be able to hear. Um, so he will be having some this year. Another pair of pyjamas. Because, obviously, you've got to have Christmas pyjamas, haven't you? Um, oh, morning, Donna. Morning, Robs. Hello. Oh, good evening from Sydney. We love cool PJs down here too. Fantastic. Um, so, yes, it must be coming on for your summer now down there. How fabulous. So, yeah, a pair of pyjamas, actually. It's just like, they're called just cool lounge trousers, really, aren't they? Um, let's have a quick... Oh, Sharon's popped up the free PMP code for today. So, that's okay. So, remember to use that. Oh, fantastic. Amy's popped up the Cadbury's gift. Oh, I know what everyone else is getting now. That's lovely. So, pyjamas. He's Look, I can see he's tempting me now. He's eating chocolate because I can't. Delicious. Can you hear that? Honestly. <laughs> He's sound bombing me now, isn't he? <laughs> That's funny. Right, pyjamas. Let's get back to pyjamas. So, the ones that we have made have got both elastic and drawstring waistbands, which are quite nice to do, actually, because if after excessive washing your elastic will eventually kind of perish, you've still got the waistband, the drawstring there, so that it's still wearable, which is brilliant. Now, we've got two widths of elastic. Now, you can get this on the website. This is about an inch wide, and this one is almost two inches wide. So they're quite nice. If you like a, a wider waistband, this one is a really good one to use. This is the one that we've used for the aerial trousers, which again, you could, you could actually turn those into pyjamas as well, actually, which would be quite cool. This one is quite nice if you're making kids pyjamas because the waistband, the elastic isn't quite so deep, so it's quite a nice size. So we've got both of those in stock. Don't forget to go over to the website and you'll be able to find them in the online store. I'm just going to tuck those back in there. What we've also used is this tape. Now, I don't know if you've seen the pair that Sharon's made for her daughter's birthday. They were out of the fabric that we've got called All the Single Ladies, which I think is really cute, actually. And she's used this. Now, this is just a twill tape. And we've got it in lots of different colours, so you can see all the colours here that we've got. This is brilliant to go through your waistband for your drawstring. Um, it's nice and flat, so it's not going to give you a kind of a solid ridge going around the waistband either. Um, and you can just tie a knot in the end if you want to, or just fold it over and just catch a stitch at the end, which is fine. So these are lovely. We've got lots of different colours and they will go with all the different fabrics that I'm going to show you today, which is brilliant. Uh, let's just see who else. Oh, morning, Sue. Morning, Jill. We are all well, thank you. Um, Marie Smith, yes, it is a Hippolyta I'm wearing today, actually. Well spotted, that's really good. Um, morning, Claire. Hello from Oxford. Uh, oh, you're about to make some after finishing aerial trousers. Oh, lovely. 
Uh, or Emma, in the factory, we used to have elastic with draw, draw cord built in. I know, that was brilliant, actually. It's really hard to find that for kind of domestic sewing. Um, what sizes does the PJ pattern cover? It goes from 8 to a 22. So off the top of my head, I can't remember what the waist measurements are, but we're going to put those on the tutorial so that you've got all of those. Um, if you've got the ordinary Rosalind pyjama pattern, all of the waist measurements will be on there. So um, they're quite easily adaptable for blokes as well, which is really handy. Um, oh, brilliant. Shan's popped up the link for the uh, herringbone webbing, the kind of twill tape that we've got there. Morning, Pauline. How are you? Morning, Mel. Morning. Sorry, have I missed much? No, don't worry, Mel. Just me rambling. That's fine. So you're in at the right time. Uh, woven or stretch for the PJ, says Deborah. Well, you could actually use either. And I think it would work really well. Don't forget, if you, they are a loose trouser. So if you want them a little bit more close fitting, you might want to just shave off a little bit off the side if you're making them in Jersey. I tend to think that they're actually a bit more comfortable with a wider leg. So you just got a little bit more room to kind of maneuver in them. So I tend to keep mine the same size, but if you're, it's exactly the same process. All you want to do is to make sure that you're using ballpoint needle, which we've got on the website as well, if you need any of those. Um, and you could just make the whole thing up with an overlocker, which is much easier too. The only thing that you might want to do is just to do a little bit of stitching on the sewing machine, just to kind of sort the pockets out. But you could make a really quick and easy pair that just don't have pockets, or you could sew patch pockets on the front or the backs instead, actually, which makes it a lot easier too. Um, and you can follow the tutorial for that about how to put a pocket on a jersey fabric in the sewing studio because that's going up later on this week, which is really cool. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk to you about is kits. So don't forget, we've still got the kits. Our last posting date is going to be the 18th of December. We can't guarantee it's going to get here get to you before Christmas, but at least they'll be on their way. Um, I don't know what the post is like where you are at the moment. Around here, it's a little bit dodgy, depends on what kind of sorting office you're working around. But you know, the postal guys are so busy and they are so brilliant at this time of year. In fact, they've been amazing all year round, really, considering we've been in lockdown since March. Um, they were fantastic getting all of our parcels out for the scrubs thing going on that we had at the beginning of the lockdown period. Um, and they've kind of been playing catch up. So just make sure that you're getting your orders in early because that way you know you're going to get everything done and sorted for Christmas, which is really good. Um, Don, Don, Donna says, we love the ramble. There's a lot of it, Donna. There's a lot of it rambling, unfortunately. I think my son takes after me because for the five hour journey back from Cornwall. He didn't stop talking once, actually. Who knew? He was it, so much you can talk about in a car journey, honestly. Poor boy, he does take after me, but never mind. So we've got zippy bags. Now again, we've got loads of different colors of zips and uh, trims that you can put on with these. They're brilliant. And again, once you've got your pattern, you can make a million of these because they are so brilliant. We also do the bag refill kits as well. So once you've got your pattern, you can just buy the fabric for what you need, which is a really good way of utilizing. Once you get your kit, you can just buy everything else that you need to go with it because you've got your pattern already, which is fantastic. So we've got the Arden bag, which is another nice one. This is our big kind of shopper as little kind of handles on there and the handles go into the pocket and help to create the pocket, which is really cool. It also has a zip pocket on the inside as well, which is lovely. And we try and match up the zip color with the um, handle color for the webbing, which is a really nice one. And we've got the throw it all in bag as well. We call it the throw it all in bag because you can literally just chuck everything in. So it's brilliant for going on the beach, going shopping, anything really. I used to have one for um, shoving all the kids stuff in when you wanted bottles, nappies and stuff like that. Again, it's got um, pockets on the inside and you can put as many of those in there as you want to really. So that's a really nice one to do. So those are the kit ideas. I'm going to move those out the way. There we go. So we've got a bit more space now to show you fabrics. Now, this is another lovely idea. This is our scrappy wreath. Now, this is a brilliant one to do with kids because it doesn't require any sewing. 
I know, I know. For a company that kind of deals with sewing and it doesn't require sewing, it's pretty good, actually. Linda, do we have zips on the roll? We don't, unfortunately, Linda. Those are, tend to be furnishing zips and we've got dress zips. So they tend to become at fixed lengths. We have got quite a few different lengths um, in different colours. So um, have a look at the website and see what we've got on there. If there's something that you want that we haven't got up online, email us and we might be able to get hold of it for you as well. Okay. Um, so this is our scrappy wreath. Now we have the kits that have the polystyrene and the right glue to use with polystyrene because if you get the wrong glue, it's going to melt the polystyrene, which is not helpful. So this is quite a nice, easy. This, I find doing these really therapeutic and I might actually be having to do some, I might do some at home this weekend, actually, if I'm not working, which I probably will be because I've got to catch up. Having taken two days out to collect my children from uni, I'm behind already, which is really frustrating, but it's very nice to have them home. So this is brilliant. We've got Christmas fabrics. Now these Christmas fabrics we have plenty of so that you can make pyjamas out of, which would be amazing. I love these. You've got to have Christmas pyjamas, haven't you? So we've got, I love the Christmas trees, which is really cool. Now we've got the cord here that would work brilliantly with these. So actually that turquoise would work quite nicely with several of those. And we've got the red as well, which I think might have fallen off somewhere. We've got a red tape where's it gone it's disappeared but we have got red anyway so that would work really nicely as well we've even got gray so that again would pick out some of the colors in there so i think those are lovely we've got you know quite a few of these would work for guys as well if you want something that's a little bit more kind of unisexy um oh amy says zoe has her pink scrappy wreath she made last year up in her bedroom oh that's brilliant you see that's one of those things that kids can do and then they can decorate their own room which i think is really lovely um so once you've got your fabric in the wreath you can always add extra bits like pine cones or christmas baubles or something like that which i think look really lovely um so we've got the webbing don't forget those in fact i'm going to leave that here because we've got quite a few different colors um, and I really love all these Christmas fabrics. So you've got, um, I actually quite like those two together, quite nice. Got a matching his and hers. If you're kind of going matchy matchy, be quite nice. You've got the red and the green there, which is lovely. Um, I think this is, I love this one actually. This is one of my favorites. It's really nice and fresh looking. I would quite like a pair of those with the, two, with the um, turquoise twill tape, well, herringbone tape. So these would be really nice. I'm going to pop these. Now, don't forget, everything will be in the email that we send out later on today. So you'll be able to click through. Um, and don't forget to use your P&P code. That's going to be available until midnight tomorrow. When you type in the code, make sure that you're putting it in as we've done it. So you could actually just cut and paste or copy and paste and pop it in that way. Um, to make sure that you're going to get it right. So a big lorry's just arrived, but it's not for us, so it's okay. We are expecting a big lorry with a lot of fabric on it, which is very, very exciting. And I'm not going to say anything about it because you know what I'm like, I'll let the cat out of the bag. But it's very exciting and I can't wait for it to arrive. And hopefully it will be here before Christmas. If not, we'll be telling you something very, very exciting in the new year, which is really, really cool. I'm going to move these out of the way now. Um, I think Sharon's going to pop all of those up, which is really cool. So don't forget, you can click on any of the links in the comments and that will take you right through to the right place on the website for those as well, which is really cool. Let's have a quick look. We've got, oh, we've got some more. I need to read things now. I need my other glasses. Oh, Jackie says, you've got your two boys from home. The washing mountain has returned. Do you know what? I so feel your pain, actually. He, Seamus came back with a massive laundry basket full of washing. Clearly he hadn't done any for about two weeks because he knew he was coming home. Oh, honestly. Oh, Christian says, could eat a tin of Quality Street and make a wreath out of the papers? Genius idea, except you've got to eat all of them. Chocolates first though, haven't you? That's trouble. That's the hardship, isn't it? Let's face it. But I like that idea. That's really cool. I think I made the mistake last year of eating my entire body weight in chocolate and I've been trying to get rid of that for the last year, which hasn't helped. So I'm going to try and be good this year. 
Um, will there be more quilted jersey coming in stock after the navy silver one? Amy, we've tried really hard to get the, na the navy and silver. Um, we've got it on order, and as soon as it comes back in with our suppliers, it's going to come here. Um, but we have got we've got the na we've got the grey and silver rather than the navy and silver, which is really nice. So I'm going to put, put, bring that one out in, in just a second, show you that. So these are. Let's get onto the fabrics now. So these are the fabrics that we've used for the pajamas behind me. And this is lovely. This was the same fabric that I used for the Hermione top, the wrap top that's in the sewing studio. It's a beautiful quality and it washes really nicely. It's a linen and cotton mix. We've got it in the small check and we've got it in the slightly larger check as well. So actually a combination of the two looks really good and that can work really effectively together. It's a lovely fabric, it really is. I would love to make a, um, a whole set of Roslyn pyjamas out of these. If I get time before Christmas, I might treat myself to a new pair of pyjamas. Can't guarantee I'm going to get time, mind you, but there we go. So this is a really lovely fabric and it's lovely, really nice to work with actually. So I'm gonna pop those back. Oops, before I wreck the joint. There we go, let's get those out of the way. Because they're really long and they take up lots of space. But you can just, oh, it's so lovely, it is so lovely. In fact, I've just made one of the samples for the book in this as well actually, which would be really nice. Which you can actually, I didn't realise, but apparently it's available on Amazon to pre-order. Who knew? I know, I know, just looking at Charlie's face. Really? What? Yeah, it is available, yeah. It's called Sewing for the Soul. It'll be out in, in July next year, but you can pre-order. However, don't pre-order no. it on Amazon. Pre-order it from us. Yeah, well... It's... No, you can't, yeah. yeah. Don't, actually, no, don't order it from Amazon because you'll get a signed copy from us when they come out. Yeah. Which would be really cool. Yeah. And you won't get that on Amazon, will you? And, and I'm also planning a little extra something to put Oh, am I? No, I am. Oh, you are? <laughs> Oh, well, there you go. That all sounds intriguing, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Lots going on. Yeah. Oh, no, OK. Yeah, I was just I was thinking that's why the, you had that blank look on my face. Like, what's going on? Is there something that I'm not aware of? Yeah. Oh, dear. Um, oh, morning, Jan. Hello. And so the sound is fantastic. Yeah, we managed to get the text sorted this week, which is good. So that's a bit of a result. Practice makes perfect. So actually, when we do next week's, We'll have it off pack, won't we? Yeah. Be perfect. Easy. Be easy peasy. In <laughs> fact, next week is going to be our last one this year. I know, Charlie's little face. I'm going to be in Kent. You are going to be in Kent, yeah. yeah. On a train platform. Lovely. Charlie's going to be working, you see. He's too busy, too, too busy now. He's too busy to come and work with me anymore. No, I'm just too important. <laughs> oh, thank you for that. Outrageous. He'll pay for that later. Anyway, back to fabrics. I want to show you some more now. I blue and white is such a classic combination, isn't it, really? This is lovely. Now, I have shown you this before. This is a viscose, and it's really, really soft. This would be a really super soft and comfy pair of pyjamas, actually, which would be lovely. Oh, Christian says, extra special postcard. Charlie, is that going to be in the book? Extra special postcard? Oh, he's looking rather coy now. Christine's looking rather coy. Um, would love to be able to pre-order from you if possible. Jill, we're going to get something up, don't worry. Um, we will try and get some, we'll get a product up so that people can pre-order, but it's not going to be out until July. So we probably won't get that sorted until after Christmas. So you can always put it on your Christmas wish list and then we can get that sorted out for you. Um, oh, Marie says, sorry, I was a bit late getting on this morning. Is the PJ set on the sewing studio? If it is, what size pattern is it to get printed? Um, it's not on there yet, but it will be. The PJ bottoms, I think if you, off the top of my head, it's probably going to be a medium. Um, but don't worry, it'll all be in the newsletter later. I'm going to put it on social media as well. There we go. Emma's going to sort it out, so that'll be cool. So you will get to hear about it, don't worry. I'm just shouting about it first so that you are aware. And then we're going to get it all sorted out for you. So we're just making you prick your ears up. That's OK. Teasing you, if you like. So this is a lovely, it's a really gorgeous viscose. It's 150 wide. Um, pattern matching. That's the other question that we get asked about a lot. Um, 
If you've got big checks like this, I probably would try and pattern match. I wouldn't worry about them matching kind of down the seam as long as you've got the lines going around, which can make a big difference. But there are going to be certain parts of a diagonal angled seam where you're not going to be able to match them. So I wouldn't worry too much. But if you can match the really obvious places like the hip line or the crotch line, then that makes a big difference. But you're not going to need a, a huge amount of extra fabric for that. So I wouldn't worry too much. But this is lovely. Uh, Mel Hutchins says, how many postcards are there? I have six. Do I have a set yet? Oh, Mel, I don't know. Maybe we're going to be adding more. The bitty man's nodding. Maybe next year we might even do a calendar. It's a bit, a bit late this year, but yeah, so you never know. We might have some lovely pictures that you can put up on your wall and we can remind you of all the really cool things that are going on, which is really good. Um, actually, I think this would be really nice as a Julia top as well. And we've got white ribbing that would work really nicely with that. So you could have a nice little white rib around the neck and the cuffs, which would be really cool. Um, how much fabric for pyjama bottoms? It depends. I would probably go for twice your length, depending on the size that you want to make. If you're making an eight or a 10 and it's wide fabric, you could probably just about get them next to each other or maybe top and tailed. So maybe about a meter and a half, but I would probably go about two meters. Should be enough depending on, you know, if you want, if you're making them for a very tall beardy person, then you're probably more likely to want about two and a half meters. So that hopefully will give you an idea. Uh, oh, Mel says we definitely need to do a, uh, a calendar. Oh, Amy's, I've got five. Wonder which one I'm missing. Actually, you might be missing two, Amy. I think, yeah. Oh, seven. I think there might be seven. I, I know, neither can I. I know, we need to count up, don't we? And see what people have got, people are missing. Um, need a Christmas postcard of your stuff with Santa hats. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can, yeah, would you be up for that, Emma? Mm. Yeah, exactly, exactly, yeah. Oh, dear. oh, Annette, I'm sorry you're feeling poorly today, um, but watching is cheering you up. Oh, that's good. Well, I hope you feel very be better much very soon. That's cool. Right, let's get this one out of the way. Now, actually, this goes quite nicely with it. So you could have, if you're going to have uh, big check pyjamas, you could have a little bit of a contrast around the waistband, like we've done with our pyjamas here actually, which looks quite nice because the waistband is in stitched in two pieces so that you can have that contrast going around on the inside, which is quite nice. But this is lovely. This is just um, a cotton lawn with a classic kind of navy paisley design, which I think is lovely actually. We've used it in our tie kits as well, which is quite nice. But I think as a pair of PJs on its own it would be lovely, really nice. Um, so you could have PJ bottoms or a Julia top even. And then we've got, now this is gorgeous. This is the fabric that we've made the peas blossom behind me in, but this is white. Now it's not see-through. It's got a kind of a slubby sort of texture to it, but it's a really lovely quality jersey. It's got linen in it as well. So it's got a linen and elastane and a bit of cotton in there as well. Um, which is absolutely gorgeous. We've got it in different, lots of different colours, which I'm going to show you today. This would be great, actually, as a base kind of layer as well, in which case, watch this space because we have a new pattern range coming out in January, um, which is going to be rather lovely. Um, and it's just going to be... Um, well, I'm not going to... Oh, I see, I'm trying to... I want to talk about things and I can't. And I'm trying to let the cat out of the bag and I just can't. But anyway, if you're interested with sewing with jersey fabrics, then maybe next month you really need to be a member of the sewing studio. Let me put it that way. Because we've got some lovely things coming into the sewing studio next month. Um, and if you like trousers, maybe you need to stay a member because we've got some interesting things coming in February as well. So we're planning, we're busy planning and doing and making sure that everything is going to be there ready for you. Um, we do tend to, now here's a question, actually, this is interesting. When we put things into the sewing studio, would you prefer to have different things going in each week? Or would you prefer it all to go in at the beginning of the month so you've got a job lot of stuff and then you can kind of filter out what you want to do? So that's a question. 
let us know either email us or stick it in the comments because that's quite interesting from our point of view to to know when whether you want to kind of drip feed things or whether you want it all bang in there at the beginning of the month either kind of works but we you know whatever it is we want to do what you want us to do if you see what i mean so let's have a quick look oh I'm just, I'm just looking at a comment that Charlie's replying to, sorry. I can't think and speak at the same time. It doesn't work. I can hear Sharon laughing upstairs. Uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, more people are looking for a calendar, Charlie. That's a good idea. Well, I'll do one next year. Yes, that's okay. I promise. Lovely. We'll get that sorted. Uh, We've got that on tape now. We have. <laughs> that's true, actually. That's true. <laughs> Uh, okay, so people are saying weekly. That's really good. Different things each week. Perfect. Um, other people say, oh, okay, at the beginning of the month. Allows planning for the sewing calendar. Jan, I love how organised you are. That's brilliant. Um, Christian says, beginning of the month to pick and choose and prioritise. Cool. That's good. It's really interesting. I mean, obviously, we're not going to be able to please everybody all the time. We're trying, trying to please most people most of the time, hopefully. So that'll be really good. More fabric. Um, we've got the lovely denim and heathered grey rib back in again, which I think is gorgeous. It's one of my favourites, apart from the Dennis the Menace one, which I'm not going to show you today because we haven't got the right colour fabrics. But this is lovely. This would go with lots of the different fabrics that we've got, especially all of these as well. Um, the nice thing about the rib is that it just comes as a tube, which is dead easy to use. So you can split it and open it out so it's one long piece if that's how you prefer to use it. I must admit, I tend to cut this with um, a rotary cutter because it's just so much easier to get a nice straight line. Um, and the other thing is it's knitted in a spiral, which is quite interesting as well. So your stripes at one end aren't necessarily going to line up but don't let that put you off you because once you cut the strip you can then kind of get everything lined up afterwards which a lot of people have kind of said oh no it doesn't work but it does so don't worry that's really cool uh christine says not a calendar with cherry buns <laughs> no we're not going to do a calendar girls thing don't worry <laughs> i really i really don't think i could inflict that on the public actually um New patterns at the beginning of the month. I could plan your fabric purchases then. Oh, okay. This is interesting, actually. We're gonna, what we're going to do is go back over the comments and just kind of see where we've got, because I think if, it's, if six of one, half a dozen of the other, we'll have to have a look, won't we? Yeah, yeah that's cool. Brilliant. So I'm going to move some of these fabrics out of the way. I wish I put, kept my card. It gets chilly down here today, it's isn't it? Down. I know. Yeah, what the on? I don't know. Yeah. Sharon was threatening to wrap herself up in some of the fabric earlier on, I think, actually, because she was getting a bit chilly. So I wouldn't put that past her, to be honest. But that's quite funny. Right, this is the other. This is the same fabric that we've used for the peas blossom here. This is, again, it's the um, linen slub jersey, but it's in a kind of a denim blue. So you can kind of get a bit of an idea more of the kind of marley kinds of colours on here, which is really lovely. cool brilliant and I think this is gorgeous it's actually really easy to work with in terms of you know people kind of get a little bit scared about working with jersey but it really isn't that bad actually it's a lot easier than you think and this goes really nicely so I'm going to pull out some of the prints as well just to give you an idea as to what kind of things you can put as pajama bottoms really um, but I think this is a lovely combination so this would be our um, Prosecco Fizz uh, this is in navy and we've got it in a pink colourway as well. So again, it's 150 wide, so two metres will easily get you a nice pair of pyjamas actually, which would be lovely. So then you can pair it up with a different kind of t-shirt or a vest top or something like that that you want to wear, which is great. Um, oops. How about a wish list in our account so we can plan what we want to make? Donna, uh, we're looking at that. It sounds easier to do than it actually is. We've got to look at the tech behind it because it's whether the 
coding on the website will work, if you see what I mean. But we're looking into it because I think that would be a really nice thing to be able to do. And it will give us an idea as to kind of things that you're looking for as well. So that's a really good point to make, actually. Thank you. Um, so those are the blues. I'm going to shove those up the back. There we are. I can push those ones forward. Ooh, there we are. Now. This is another one. Now, we haven't, I haven't shown this for a while, actually. We've had more of it in. Um, this is, again, a really, really soft cotton lawn. Um, it's called Water Lilies, I think. Let me check the name of it. Blush Water, Charcoal Blush Water Lilies. This is beautiful. This is like, it's the same quality as a Liberty, but it isn't a Liberty, if you see what I mean. It's actually produced in the same factory, but it hasn't got the Liberty name on it. But I think it's absolutely beautiful. It really is so lovely. And it goes wonderfully with the charcoal linen slub. And we've got, this is Amy, this is the one that I was mentioning earlier. We've got the charcoal and silver quilted jersey, which is rather nice. So I think that's lovely. As an alternative to the navy and silver, which we can't get hold of at the moment, this is going to be your next best thing. And I think that's really lovely, actually. That's really interesting. Oh, I think we're getting a proper mix here, Emma, of weekly or job lot monthly. Mm. That's interesting. That's count them all up. I think we will. <laughs> I like a bit of a survey there that's rather nice so that's lovely that's the kind of pink oh I've just come unplugged oh, I think we're on 100% so we should be okay um so actually I think that's rather nice do you know what Seamus came home yesterday and he'd had like the most amazing pair of trackies on they were like really really low crotch type things proper Japanesey type things but I think oh yeah you could actually make them in this that'd be really cool yeah. proper low crotch trousers it's very really trendy crazy. Very cosy and warm. I think those would be lovely, actually. I don't think he would appreciate them in silver glittery ones, though, <laughs> but never mind. <laughs> you, you never know. You never know. Um, so that's a rather nice colour combination. Uh, let's move that one up the back so I can show you the greys. Now, this was the pink Prosecco Fizz. So again, actually, that's quite nice with a grey, I think. which is rather sweet. I think that's rather, pink and grey, kind of, it's like a classic combination, a bit like grey and yellow, isn't it, really? I think that works really nicely. We've also got Penny People. Now, you might remember this from the summer. Um, we've got more of this in as well. So this is lovely. Actually, again, that goes with grey. So it has these lovely little kind of, little faces of people. Um, this is another colourway. This is like, like heathered. I can't remember what we called this one now, what colour we've called it. It's a heathered something. Can't find it. Never mind. Sharon will find it. Sharon will find it. She knows what it's called. Um, Amy says, maybe <laughs> you're referring to the silver. Maybe you need both, Amy. You can't have too much quilted jersey, quite frankly, can you really? Um, but this is a lovely, this is uh, the kind of heathered, Sharon's going to put it up. I can't remember what the colour is, but it's lovely. And that actually goes really nicely. It just picks out that lovely kind of pinky colour in the little faces, which I think is really cute. So PJs in a T-shirt would look lovely. PJs in a, a Julia top would be really nice. You could even make a, a long line Paulina, which would be quite cool as well, actually. That'd be rather nice. So I'm going to move those ones out of the way. And we've got, now this is one Sharon's favourite. Let's push these forwards now. Ooh. Oh, got that one out of the way. There we are. Um, this is Coleman Bouquet from Mrs. Coleman. And I think that's lovely. Oh, so let's just tuck that back in. It's lovely. It's a really gorgeous design, actually. It's got big flowers on it. So... I think would really make an impact if you made pyjama bottoms out of this. Actually, I also think it would look amazing in a Hippolyta, which is what I'm wearing for warmer days to come, because we're not far off the shortest day now, are we? No, end of December. 
December. That's it, 21st of December, shortest day. And then we can start looking forward to the lovely light evenings again, which is beautiful. Not that we want to wish our lives away, but quite frankly, I should be bad, glad to see the back of 2020, as I'm sure you guys will be as well. But I think that actually looks quite nice. This is a single jersey so it's like a, a t-shirt fabric just like a normal regular t-shirt fabric but again this is a really nice quality it's got five percent elastane in it which means it's got a good return so when you stretch it it kind of pings back which is really important because you don't really want to have baggy kinds of uh, t-shirts and stuff like that that don't kind of ping back and stretch again um all oh, lovely shans put oh it's pink linen slub there we go that's cool Brilliant. she's putting all the fabrics up there that's lovely this one is a mauve melange jersey there we go that's a good word isn't it melange mm. yeah it is fancy pantsy um, and again we've got more of the pil pink quilted jersey which i think is really lovely so this is pink on pink so it's pink jersey with pink stripes which is really cute and again that works really nicely too so you could even have a pair of um jersey pj bottoms and a nice chunky sweatshirt in a julia or a regan to wear with it which would be really cool um well donna says yes i'd love a hippolyta in the colma bouquet i know melange basically Jean, it means that you've got it's like um you've almost like got a slubby kind of two-tone look to it so this has got um grey, grey kind of undertones but with the mauve over the top so it looks like it's kind of um, a two-tone fabric with little bits, I don't know if you can zoom in Emma yeah, and see that perfect, yeah I think it's just a nice word actually melange as well I think it might be one of John Scott's favourite words too he used to like saying that as well there we are so I think actually those three would work really nicely. We've also got it in, um, we've got quite a few colours of this in, which is really nice. So I'm going to move this one out of the way with those. Pop those up at the back. It's gradually working its way back forwards again. Um, now this was the fabric that Sharon used for her daughter's pyjamas, which you might be able to see on social media. And yes, I think... Later on this afternoon. Oh, later on this afternoon. Um, Oh yes, actually, she, yeah. Sharon's put them into our Send Me Something Friends, which is our um, Facebook group. So you might be able to see them in there. And I think they're lovely. Now she's used, which I think looks really cool actually. She's used the purple. She's picked out the little, the nice thing is you've got so many different colours in here that you can pick out. But she's used this beautiful purple herringbone webbing for the drawstring, which I think is, works really well. So that's very cute. And I think her daughter was made up with those, which is really nice. But so again, you could have that. And then we've got this lovely lavender melange, which again has that same kind of grey sort of undertones to it. I really like it because it stops the colour from looking too flat. It gives it a bit of depth and a bit of something to it, having that kind of grey melange kind of textural thing to it, which I think is really lovely. So that is a really nice combination, actually. I mean, you could, I shall put out orange here, but that would be quite nice with the, the fabric as well, which I think is really cool. We've also got it. Now, this is a slightly different one, different but similar. This is navy. And again, this is a melange because it's got that slightly kind of great. This is so soft, I have to say. This is so soft. I could quite happily just wrap myself up in this. It would be lovely. Um, I'm just trying to think what it's made of. Ah, it's a viscose, viscose poly jersey. But again, it's got 5% elastane in it, so it's got a really good return. So it's nice and stretchy. You can tell it's a single jersey because when you stretch the cut edge, it rolls up on itself. Can you see how it's just rolling up? Which is actually a really nice way of finishing it too. So you could just stretch it um, and let it roll up on itself rather than hemming it so if you were going to do a t-shirt instead of worrying about doing the twin needling on the bottom you could just leave it raw red and it would just roll up on itself which is quite a nice way of leaving it finished so that's quite cool um, that i think works beautifully 
with this one, which is something hands. What's it called? Hands on midnight. There we go. And again, I think that's quite cool for PJ bottoms. Again, it's a large design, but I think it would really work on trouser legs because you've got quite a, a space of uninterrupted fabric, which would look really cool. So that would work really nicely as well. Medium weight jersey. Um, it depends on what you want to use it for, Julie. Um, is it for a dress or a top or a t-shirt or whatever you, if you can give me a little bit more information, I'll be able to tell you what kind of things you'll be looking for. Um, Tina, oh yes, lovely PJs. Exactly, watch from the beginning because it's really cool. Uh, we've got a lovely tutorial coming into the sewing studio this week about uh, how to sew your PJs and how to sew a pocket on jersey fabric, which is quite cool as well. There's a couple of little, um, nice little things, little bits of haberdashery, I haven't got them here, um, that we're gonna be able to tell you about that you can use and that really helps get everything just in the right kind of place. So I'm gonna move these ones out of the way, just cause I wanna show you these. Now this is lovely. Sharon was saying her mum prefers her PJ bottoms to be out of something nice and soft like a viscose, which is a really, is another really good idea. Uh, another really good way, a dress, Julie, medium weight. So you could use something, um, it probably wants to be a bit heavier than a single jersey. So something like a Ponte Roma would be fine or a double jersey. Again, it depends on how much, uh, how fitted you want it, how many gathers or what kind of elastication you've got in the dress. Normally, it will give you um, an indication on the pattern instructions as to what kinds of fabric you'll need. Um, but a medium weight jersey is something like a Ponte Roma or um, a double jersey. Um, yeah, you, maybe you could get, depending on the style of the dress, you could get away with a single jersey or t-shirting. If it's quite a loose kind of unstructured kind of shape, then you could get away with a single jersey. Um, I hope that helps. If it doesn't, email us and we'll see if we can help a bit further. Um, but this is the Floral Splash in Damson, which I think is lovely. This is gorgeous anyway, and actually it would be amazing as a pair of pyjamas. It would obviously work for lots of other things as well, but we're kind of focusing on PJs today. And actually, this is another of our Melange jersey fabrics. Now this is a kind of wine colour. I can't remember what colour we've called it now. I don't know if we've got the label on there. But it's lovely, and again, it's got, it's a rich, kind of wine burgundy but again it has undertones of charcoal grey so it has that it's not a flat colour which is really nice and I think those go beautifully together Merlot that's lovely well of course it is yes Merlot perfect uh, brilliant yes so actually those would go really nicely together again you could make actually this would look really nice as a um miranda dress but then you could make a lovely kind of polar neck t-shirt to go underneath it which would be great for the for the autumn um so they're not just suitable for pjs but we're talking about pjs today uh, i'll move that one out of the way uh this i think actually goes beautifully with our showering vine fabric as well because it just picks out that lovely deep kind of aubergine both in the coral and the silver, which I think are rather nice. So either of those would go really nicely with the Merlot melange. I love that word, melange. You kind of have to say it with a, a bit of an accent, really, don't you? Yeah, you do. Does it sound the same? <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> oh, hi, Yasmin. Oh, Yasmin's just popped in to say she's wearing a Julia top in stripy jersey lovely second one you've made love it brilliant perfect that's a great idea well the, tu the tutorial for the pjs is going to be in the sewing studio later so that'll be later on this week so that'll be great um i'm going to pop those at the back now so i'm giving you some more fabric options few more fabrics here just to let you know what we've got so you've got plenty of options now this i love 
this is kind of this is your unisex one so if you've got a bloke that you need to make pajamas for maybe this is a little bit more of a safer option for them i quite like it with this now this is um just a matte kind of plain color this is not a melange jersey um, but it's equally as gorgeous this is uh, one of the art gallery fabrics and again it's got five percent elastane in it so it's a really nice one so actually a really simple t-shirt in this with a little pocket on it would be great for the guys or even yourself i actually quite like these colors too um, so that would work really nicely this color also i think works with the blue version of our viscose splash so i think the colors there work really nicely together too in fact, this goes with lots of different things, actually. There's loads of different um, prints that we've got that have this colour in, which is rather nice. Uh, I'm going to push those two to the back. Don't forget, if you are watching this back later, all of the fabrics that we're featuring today are going to be in the newsletter that goes out later. So make sure you're signed up to get our emails, which is brilliant. This is a nice one. Actually, I think that works quite nicely with that as well. well I'm going to cough, sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, actually, we did have somebody make a Regan up in this and they used charcoal rib and it looked amazing. It wouldn't have been a colour combination that I would have normally put together, but actually I was surprised and it looked fabulous. It really did. So a Regan in that would be amazing. Just a nice summery Regan, but actually it would be equally as lovely as a pair of pyjamas. So I think that's another colour combination. Um, this one, Lola, again, it's got that lovely kind of aqua blue in there, but this would work really nicely with our Merlot. So again, you're picking out the kind of colours. It's all a bit sort of mix and match sort of thing, which I quite like. So equally, actually, let's move that one out of the way. You've kind of got two options. I quite like those two together. This is almost almost chocolate but not if you see what i mean it's that lovely deep dark aubergine which is lovely um, but it has that kind of chocolatey sort of feel to it chocolate and blue i think look really nice together as well um, didn't see the check oh let me show you that again there we go sharon So I hope you've caught that one. This is lovely, actually. It's really nice. And it's, it goes beautifully with um, that, the denim blue cotton jersey. So it's a nice colour combo. Those, I think, work really nicely together. A nay, a nay. That's what I was trying to think of, what it was called. Yes. I, I knew it was like perfume. It had a perfume name. Rowena, it's like, it's like a Miranda word, like plunge. That's a, I know that's another good word, isn't it? Plunge. Um, oh, Chris says, can you tell me whether the no-sew wreath is available with fabric scraps? Um, at the moment, we haven't got it up as a fabric scrap wreath, but we certainly could put one together for you. If you want to email us, we can get that sorted out for you. Um, so Chris, yes, email us directly. Hello, send me something at gmail.com and we'll get that sorted out for you because we can put some fabrics in there with you, with it for you, which is really cool. Uh, drape. It's a lovely soft cotton, actually, Sharon. It's almost like cotton lawn weight, so it's ideal. Perfect. For, you can make a nice summer weight shirt out of it, but equally it's nice for and soft for pyjamas too. So that's a rather nice one. I like this too. In fact, I can't say anything, can't say anything. What? Nothing, nothing, darling, nothing, nothing. I'll talk to you later, it's fine. Right, let's move those out of the way. Now, I think I love this. I think this is so cute. This is our vintage cars. And again, I think it works really nicely with the solid blue. Now we could pick out, actually, I was just thinking one of the other purples would be quite nice with that, that we had earlier on. Actually, that one would look quite nice with it too. So this is the um, 
violet melange jersey but I think that's quite cute too and then you could also use the purple for the um, drawstring to go through actually which I think would be really cute I quite like that actually I know yellow is not a lot of people's favorite colors but I, I think that works really really nicely so another kind of option for you there um, this is the vintage car fabric. Again, it's a cotton poplin, so it's a little bit heavier than a lawn, but it's still nice and soft and easy to work with. So I think that would work really nicely, which is a good colour combination as well. And then last but not least, I've got my lovely favourite yellow sweatshirting. Now we've got some more of the grey ribbing and we've got the yellow striped quilted jersey which I think are really lovely and they would go beautifully with the khaki viscose splash so again if you want soft drapey pajama bottoms viscose is your fabric it really is and this is our loop back jersey we have got loads more of this coming in now it probably won't be this side of Christmas but if you are getting ready and you know you're going to want fabric, then I would definitely stick a gift voucher, stick a Sew Me Something gift voucher on your Christmas list because they are going to be absolutely perfect for using for all of the new fabrics that we've got coming in after Christmas. Um, so I would definitely get one of those. They come in different denominations, so you can get as much or as little as you want. Um, the other thing that we've started doing, and I think you need to check this out because it would be really cool. Um, if you're not a member of the sewing studio already, why not? Clearly, but no, that's fine. Um, but we have done a three month gift membership. So if you're thinking about joining, you're not quite sure, you can try it out for three months and see how you go. So you can put that on your Christmas list as well. So what happens is you can either go to our normal website and under gifts, it will have the three month stu sewing studio subscription that you can just pay as a one off lump. I think it's about 60 quid and that will give you three months access to everything that's in there. Or you can do it off of the sewing studio website, but it takes you all back to the same place on our main website. So whoever wants to order that will put all of their payment details in, but in the comments section for the order, they can tell us who the person, who the recipient is and their email address and when you want the subscription to start. So we can get that up and running for you already so that once we set up the subscription, so you can pay for it in kind of one place and we'll then set up the subscription for you and email the person who you want to set up the subscription for and let them know that they're a member which I think is quite cool. And that's a really nice thing to give somebody rather than trying to, I mean, I know, I don't know about you, but I quite like things like that. One of the things I love getting is a magazine subscription because it's such a lovely little surprise when it pops through the door every month. Um, and I know I've got one of those on my Christmas list this year. So you could definitely put a three month gift subscription for the sewing studio on your uh, Christmas list too. And that way you can come over and see what we're all about and see what you've been missing out on because there's loads of cool stuff in there. Um, and hopefully you'll be joining us and carrying on because we've got loads of stuff planned for next year. This year has been a complete and utter nightmare for everybody concerned, I'm sure. Um, but we've got loads of really cool things going in there. We've got, what have we got coming up next year in the sewing studio? We've got all about working with jersey fabrics. We've got a brand new jeans workshop going in there. We've got trouser fitting going in there. Um, we've got brand new patterns going in there that are exclusive to the sewing studio as well. Um, we've got all kinds of different things. We've got a coat project coming. That won't be until the summer, but we're all working on it now already. Um, so there's all kinds of different things going on in the sewing studio. Um, we're gonna be doing a lot more uh, videos as well. So um, there will be plenty coming up in there. Um, if you have a gift voucher, can we put that towards a subscription? Um, Hannah, we will probably be able to sort that out for you. In theory, yes. A lot of what we've got to do is kind of like working the tech side of everything because it's a lot to do with coding and using codes to pay for one thing. But email us, definitely email us and we'll get that sorted out because I can't see it'll be a problem at all. Even if we have to kind of do it manually, 
behind the scenes rather than making it automated. So yes, definitely you'll be able to do that. Um, exciting trouser fitting jeans, Tina, it's all coming. It really is. I'm very excited. It means a lot of work before Christmas, but it's getting there. Um, so yeah, no weekends for me until, <laughs> until 2022. <laughs> no, it won't be that bad. It won't be that bad. Um, is there anything? Oh, the other thing, that's the other big thing that I need to tell you about is we are actually starting to put up workshops. Now, it's been a bit of a, do we do it? What do we do? How's it all going to work? When are we going to do it? We don't know. So what we're going to do is to start penciling in workshops for end of February, beginning of March. We'll see how things go. At the moment, we're tier three. <sighs> don't even get me started on that. But there we go. Um, everything is going to get reviewed on the 16th of December. We'll see what happens in the new year, whether we go back in, down into lockdown again or not, who knows. But we're going to hopefully, by kind of March time, things should be getting back to normal a bit. They will have had time to kind of roll out some of the vaccines. Um, I definitely will be taking it as soon as I can get my hands on it, quite when that will be, because I'm not old enough yet. But I know that you know, we'll see how that goes. So I'm hoping we're going to be able to start running workshops again from end of February, beginning of March. If there's anything that you would like us to do, let us know. You can either comment here, send us a message on social media, uh, send us an email. If there are any workshops that you want us to run, that you physically want to come to, then let us know and we will see what we can do. Because obviously we only want to put things on that you guys want to do. So that would be great. Um, oh, let's see, we've got some... A Breton t-shirt pattern would be good. Mary, watch this space, that's all I'm gonna say. Uh, Vanessa, jeans tutorial, any ideas when? Vanessa, well, it's coming, it's coming. It could be in the next couple of months. Um, we will be putting out some little teasers as to what's coming into the studio each month so that you've got an idea. Um, yes, Mandy, we will be getting in touch. Anybody who we've had to postpone a workshop with, we will be getting in touch with you. We've got um, chats going on with some tutors this week. So hopefully by Friday, we will be able to let you know what workshops are running when. And we'll be getting in touch with anybody who's had a postponed workshop so that we can reschedule those as well. Uh, oh, people are interested in jeans and trousers. That's cool. So that's good. So if there is anything, as I said, if there's anything specific that you want to learn how to do or any workshops that you want to be a part of actually here in the studio, let us know and we'll see what we can do. Um, right. That, I think, a shirt. Mm, Donna, I know, I know. It's on the list. It's on the list. It's coming. It's coming. There are so many things. I just don't have enough time. I need to clone myself, basically, don't I, really? That would be so much easier. Um, I hope you've been inspired today. Make some PJs. They're so easy. If you're new to sewing or you know anybody who's new to sewing, it is such a great first project to get to, to grips with. It really is. Teenagers, if they are on lockdown or back from uni or um, finishing school early or whatever, get them started because it's a really cool project actually it's one of the first things that I got my daughter to make was a pair of jeans a pair of pjs not jeans pjs <laughs> got jeans on the brain um oh tina says culottes with a half waistband oh i like your thinking i like your thinking tina this is brilliant actually lovely send us your ideas that's marvelous um give it a go uh, do let us know on social media what kinds of things you're interested in and we will write them all down. We're having massive lists going on at the moment. We've got dates and things, all kinds of different things sorted um, behind the scenes. You would not believe it's that whole kind of, you know, the swan principle where you're gliding along on the top and your legs are going like this underneath. That's what we're doing behind the scenes. So it looks beautiful and easy here. And we're working like what sits upstairs at the moment, trying to get everything sorted. Um, a denim jacket, Julie, I know. That's, it's, yeah, it's coming, it's coming. Um, have a fantastic weekend, week everybody, for the rest of the week. Get all of your, um, hopefully your Christmas shopping is, is getting there, getting sorted. Um, everybody needs Christmas pyjamas, clearly. Um, and we will see you back again next week. Cool, lovely, take care everybody. We'll see you next week, bye-bye.